Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Leo. Let's see what we have for you for the week. Message for our lovely Leos for the week. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo for the week. Two cards. Three. Well, we've got a new beginning. Always nice to see. Door opening. Okay, we've got closure as well. Maybe finding some peace in that. We have peace. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael message. What do we have for Leo? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo. Such nice message. We This is the Archangel Michael deck. We have number 11. Embrace this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. All right, Leo, those are your initial messages. Let's see what we have for the week for Leo. Please, Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Leos for the week. Message for our lovely Leos for the week. Message for Leo. Well, there's a kind of closure energy. We have the death card. You know, the death card, it doesn't just end. Every ending leads to a new beginning. That's why a lot of the time I, I always say it is the Phoenix Rising card. The Phoenix actively, you know, purges, you know, the old in order to embrace renewal and rebirth, maybe make space for the new in some way. We've got the Five of Swords. Justice. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Cups. Let's pull a card for the death card. Page of Pentacles. Start. The Page of Pentacles can actually be about manifesting a brand new path. Starting over it can be a practical thing as well can involve, you know, moving, relocating, or just practically in your own space, in your own energy, starting on a brand new path too. Let's pull one more card. The Six of Wands. Okay. The uh, the Death card, the Page of Pentacles, which again is here as well, um, and the Six of Wands, it represents here, Leo, that there's an opportunity to claim some kind of success, victory, triumph, significant um, achievement through an ending by bringing something to an end and starting on a brand new path. Now, that can be in terms of relationships. That could also be in money, uh, money areas. So however this manifests for you, it feels like there's an opportunity to move on. And that's what I'm seeing here. It feels like there is, a, there is an opportunity to, it feels like to start over on a brand new path, brand new beginning. And that's why that new beginning is there. But it means moving on from a situation. Now, this can be about moving on from conflict with a five of swords. 
This is either something that's affecting relationship or about a relationship as well. Because, you know, the two of cups can be when we are, when we support each other. We kind, you know, we kind of like, you know, advise, you know, um, you know, the other person, whether it's a friend, whether it's love romance, uh, an important connection, a kindred spirit, you know, this is what this is what you should do. You know, it's not OK for you to experience this. This is what needs to happen now. And there's that kind of consensus there. For others of you, it's about a relationship itself. Now, two of cups can be friendship. It could be family. Um, it could also be in terms of love, romance, relationships. So however this resonates with you, uh, it could also be, like I said, I, I feel this is an energy here either, it could be a work scenario that you are dealing with where there has been somebody doing whatever they want to do and disregarding you, disrespecting you, causing you hurt, pain, there's fallout, disagreement, arguments. It's either a relationship or in another life area that's affecting a relationship here. But five of swords can be disrespectful in a corporate environment. I mean, it's really the same message. You know, whatever the specific is, it's the same message. The the five of swords is is somebody acting disrespectfully, doing whatever they want to do in a corporate work environment. It's whatever it takes to get ahead. Not afraid to throw you under under the bus, scapegoat you. You know, um, whatever it takes to get ahead. You know, this is that kind of scenario here. So it kind of takes on that kind of energy. Um, in a work scenario, but it is a card of conflict, fallouts, disagreements, potential of endings because of someone's actions. And this is what you're thinking about here. Again, the, the Four of Swords and Justice, I need to decide what the right thing to do is now because someone's actions had le has led you to a point. Whether you close the door on a, on a situation or a person and maybe move in a new direction, follow an alternative path, or whether you embrace healing with that person or place. So this is about taking a step back to make the right choice and decision for you in truth, because actions have consequences. You won't be in this situation if this hasn't happened, you know? So actions have consequences here. And that's the energy here. Justice is always about a just and fair decision that's in the light of truth that will restore balance, especially if you're making a decision here it's about knowing what the right choice is. Now, we can know what the right choice is. Sometimes the right choice is not always easy. It's interesting. I had a similar energy for Aries. Um, it's not unusual for fire signs to have similar energies, but there are always nuances that are a little bit different. Four of Cups, somebody is wanting to smooth things over with you. Um, this is the energy here. I feel that this is uh, an opportunity to smooth things over with you. Can we just move on from this? Can we just, but again, the four of cups is, I'm not sure I'm happy, you know, with this person or being in this place anymore. So this can be the energy here where it might well be a, a kind of like, um, you're seeing the truth of the situation here. Because again, the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, you have, have either an opportunity to start over with a person, uh, start afresh, or plant new seeds and move in a new direction. The Ten of Cups, it can be a long-term committed relationship or marriage, an opportunity to get the happiness back for you, your, your home, the rest of the people in it. This can be that kind of scenario, clearly seeing that a lot of happiness you know, there is, there is the promise of a lot of happiness in this energy. It could also be about leaning on wider family to give you support as well with the Ten of Cups energy. So again, however that manifests for you here, Leo, I feel that somebody is extending something to you, almost kind of like an olive branch, but you don't know whether you want to move in a different direction or start over with this person or place. So this is the energy here because the Page of Pentacles is also very good in business. Also very good in terms of um, messages to do with planting new seeds on a new path. Very good in terms of money, career, financial areas. You know, a message to do with job, business opportunity. This can be the opportunity here. So I feel that there is something being offered to you here. Maybe to, to stay, uh, maybe to, to renew your current circumstances. 
but I feel there's an opportunity to move in a different direction. I mean, this could also translate that you might be with somebody that your wider family doesn't like, you know, uh, they don't think that they're good enough for you. Again, with a five of swords, conflict of some kind. So there are always kind of like things that can cross over here as well. But the message remains the same. I mean, the Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles and the Death card is an ending and moving on from an ending. The Page of Pentacles planting new seeds, moving in a new direction. And I feel that you're closing the door on one scenario and moving towards a new path. Now, like I said, this is very good in terms of, I mean, the Six of Wands is very good in terms of significant achievement that allows you to move on in business. But again, energetically, we can take the reins of a situation and move on from a person, place, situation that no longer serves us and close the door on that. So this is absolutely an energy of out with the old, in with the new. Because why? Well, you want to find peace. Underrated energy peace. But you know, if we have peace in our life, you know, life's good. <laughs> you know. Now... It's interesting, the Archangel Michael card is Embraces Magical Moments. I feel that this would likely be your... And justice is also very good in terms of things like contracts as well. But I feel that this is an energy here of you're kind of, almost kind of like taking the reins of something this week and understanding what you want to accept and what you don't want to accept as an experience and aligning with a brand new path. I feel that this would likely be in business, moving from one job to another because you're not happy with your current circumstances and con actions have consequences. In relationships, whether again that's friendship, um, love romance, there is an offer kind of like an olive branch being extended but it might well be, especially if this has happened before, there are actions, consequences, you know, there are consequences to people's actions, both good and bad. And this just feels like that kind of fallout. This is either to do with um, a longer term relationship or it might well be you're leaning on family through this period as well, maybe to guide you and help you as well. And it might well be that your family was never too keen on the person that you were with. So that's kind of the energies that I'm dealing with here. Really, the message remains the same. It's however it applies to you. Let's pull you a message from spirit. But I, the strong energy here of, of drawing a line under something, out with the old, in with the new, you are the phoenix rising this week. And a very empowered energy, six of wands is Leo energy. Just ready, okay. I feel that sense of harmony. I feel that sense of peace again because the actions that you're taking are bringing in that kind of harmony and peace when you put difficulty behind you and you move on and feel pretty empowered by it, you know? We're, we're really looking forward with the Six of Wands of what's to come. We have hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone in your life, there is always hope. And maybe aligning with the path that brings you peace and new hope for the future, you know? All right, Leo, what do we have as a final message for you? Final message for Leo. We have manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. I mean, justice is, is always about cause and effect, you know, and this is about take a step back to see the way forward here because you're at that point where it feels someone's actions have led you to this point and it's whether you move in a brand new direction or stay where you are. But we always live with the, 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 the ramifications of our choices. This is the energy here. We're always accountable and also fully aware, you know, fully aware of our circumstances too. So this is that kind of energy here. That's what I have for you, Leo, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.